Oh, if those walls could talk. That's a familiar phrase that certainly applies to our first destination. You see, the walls of Cedar Vine Manor outside of Lebanon are about 177 years old. Teresa Bush has taken us there to discover the new life of an old home built back in 1832. Folks pass this two-story mansion on Highway 231 south of Lebanon every day. Many of them may be unaware of the rich history that lives inside and outside. Newborn Jennings and his wife Sarah built the house right about the time of the Civil War. Nobody lives here anymore, but it's still very much alive with activity. Cedar Run Manor is a premier events facility slash bed and breakfast. We just do it all. And this is original to the house? Daniel Gladden has the unique privilege of managing this little bit of everything. He says Cedar Vine Manor was the realization of a dream for the owners, Jackie George and her late husband, Jack. They purchased the dilapidated house and land back in 1992. She just loves old homes, old furniture, just a great fan of antiques. This house was scheduled, I believe, to either be demolished or sold, and that's when they bought it at auction. It started as the bed and breakfast, and I believe just the people that she came into contact through the bed and breakfast just kept giving her idea after idea. You know, you should do this, you should do that, and she just compiled all their information, and it's become what it is today. But before anyone could be entertained here, the Georges had to do a lot of remodeling. And that's when workers discovered something that'd been hidden for years. What's great about this room is uh, there used to be a trap door right here over in the sitting area. And that's actually was the entrance to the underground tunnel that went underneath the house. So what happened with the underground tunnel and the door? Well, the floor in this room was in such a state of disrepair that um, they had to refinish it. Okay. So during the refinishing process, they caved in the front part of that tunnel. And accidentally. That, I... Accidentally. The tunnel extended under Highway 231 and was most likely to be used as the family's escape route in case of an attack. And what about here? Um, this was arguably one of the two entrances to the home. We've, there's a great debate over whether this was the front entrance or the front was the, the front, other front. The was other the front, front. <laughs> was the front entrance. But uh, I think we settled on because the mural that's painted in the staircase and that staircases were usually in the front part of the homes. Right. That, that was the front of the house. Workers also found this ledger from the early 1900s. Newburn Jennings' son, J.D., he used it when he was the sheriff of Wilson County. Going through it, it was, it was fascinating that people were arrested for public profanity and all kinds of things back in the day. So it's, it's a throwback to old times, definitely. History is everywhere at the Cedar Vine Manor, and most every room here has its own story, like the master suite. The bricks to make the fireplace were taken from the demolition of the Father Ryan High School in Nashville. And the house was a convalescent home for Civil War veterans, and for a time, it served as a doctor's office. In all, there are eight guest bedrooms, and each one is identified by a color. And Jackie, she decorated every single one of them. Well, a lot of the original furnishings were in a state of disrepair, so a lot of them, if they could be saved, were uh, re refurnished and put back in the home. But a lot of the antiques came from Jackie's private collection. That was the love of her life, and that was her dream, and, and she just put her heart and soul into the place. And if you really want to step back in time, you might want to stay inside this cabin, which was built back in 1832. The cabin, I think, was originally located over in Rutherford County. And just, again, their love for old things and preserving history, they numbered each log, tore it apart, and put it back together piece by piece on this property. 
while Cedar Vine Manor is for special events, you don't have to wait for one to see the house. We do tours on Sundays, one to three. So people come out and they just want to see the house because so, they drove past it all their life or they've heard about it through, through different venues and, and people and they just want to come out and check the rooms out and things like that. So I encourage them, come on out and look at it for yourself. And you'll discover something old can be new again and a house can become something it was never intended to be. And such is the case of Cedar Vine Manor in Wilson County.